It's another day of full activities at the residence of the president-elect. Members of the Progressive Governors Forum, led by the governor of Kebbi State, are coming to pay homage. Other dignitaries, including serving senators and traditional rulers, also joined the visiting group. As soon as they enter the building, the doors are closed for a meeting. When the meeting ends, the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum came out to encourage Nigerians to remain optimistic. President-elect was magnanimous in expressing his thoughts in the Renewed Hope Manifesto. He told the world what we are, what he's promising. He had been on campaign trails across the country and he has expatiated on that. So, A, President Aswaju Bola Ametinibu has offered renewed hope for the nation. And I believe we will see more of it. Some senators who were part of the meeting appealed to all Nigerians to give the incoming administration a chance. We should be, we should pray and uh, we should cooperate with the government and wish the government, government well so that uh, the government, I know the government has very, very good intentions, fantastic intentions to uplift the lives of the people of this country, to bring unprecedented development. I think the courts are in a position to decide, but I don't think uh, it's a problem. Nigerians have a right to go to court, and the courts also have a right to, you know, independence of the government. The issue of the leadership of the 10th National Assembly again came to the fore. The leadership of the party working with Mr. President-elect will uh, direct as they think is uh, to the best interest of uh, not only the country, the government, and indeed our great party. First of all, he has been, he's been zoned, he had to be zoned, for when he's zoned, then you go from there. That's what happened. Once he's zoned, then look at who you're using it to. The person must be very loyal to the person that is in, in charge. He must know how to, who he picks, must be someone that's relied to him. The meeting, which lasted for a few hours, was attended by the Vice President-elect, Senator Kashim Shatima, and other APC stalwarts.